continuous income stream. Let's talk about how you can figure out how much something is worth today, or the present value, if you have an estimate of how much income it's going to bring in in future years. So we're calling that f of t, the amount of continuous income that is going to be brought in in dollars per year for the next t years. All right. Now this is all going to be predicated upon knowing what our interest rate is going to be or what our annual interest could be earned on other investments compounded continuously throughout those years. So let's jump right in to an example. So we have the opportunity to buy a business that will earn $75,000 per year continuously over the next eight years. So what they've given us is an income function, f of t, is going to be a constant 75000 per year. Over the next eight years, so big T is going to be eight in our case. Now we know that money can earn 2.8% per year. So that's our rate, r. So 2.8%, but we want to make that into a decimal. So two decimal places over, 0 0.028 is going to be filled into our function. Um, so is the business worth the purchase price of $630,000? Uh, $630, All right, well, let's try. PV is going to be the integral from 0 to 8 of 75000 e raised to the negative 0.028t dt. So what we want to do is we want to integrate this and figure out what it's worth today. So after we filled everything in, let's rearrange this, make it look a little bit nicer, like that 75,000 can come out in front. Still integrating between 0 and 8 at this point of e raised to the negative 0.028t dt. But in this case, what we're going to have to do is we actually have a function inside of another function. So let's go ahead and use the u substitution. So we're going to do u is going to be the inner function, the exponent in this case. Next, we'll take du on both sides, or take the derivative, and we'll get negative 0.028. And then we'll put a dt on this other side. Now as we work on filling in here, we're going to bring along the 75,000. We're integrating e to the u power at this point, but we also have to replace the dt at the end. So this dt, I've got a dt over here, but I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit. So we have dt is 1 over negative 0.028 du is going to get filled in. All right, so we're replacing the dt. I'm going to go ahead and that constant is coming out in front. And I'm going to replace the du at the end. Now you may notice at this point I don't have bounds of integration. Now I've transformed from values for t, 0 and 8, we need to switch those over to values for u. So to do so, let's use our let statement where we define what u is going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the 8 is negative 0.028 multiplied by 8. I'm going to replace in my t value of 8, the upper bound, in here and make it into a u value. So my new u value is going to be negative 0 0.224. Negative 0 0.224 gets filled in for our upper bound. Now the lower bound is just putting in a 0 negative 0 0.028 multiplied by 0, which will work out to be a 0 for our lower bound. All right, so u substitution, changing our bounds of integration. Next, let's go ahead and integrate here. Now the integrating, because we have e to a power, is going to be very easy. It's going to be 75,000 over negative 0 0.028 e to the u power evaluated between 0 and negative 0 0.224. All right, to finish this up, and I know I could go ahead and get my calculator out and get a different number out here, but I'm just going to leave it as is. We need to evaluate e raised to the negative 0 0.224 minus e to the 0 power as we evaluated our bounds of integration. So 75,000 over negative 0 0.028 and then e raised to the negative 0 0.224 minus 1 
e to the zero power is going to be one. Getting this all onto our calculator, I got our present value to equal 537,548.75, rounding to two decimal places, and that'll be in dollars. So I guess to answer this question, is this business worth the purchase price of $630,000? We'd have to answer no, it's only worth 537,000 and some change. All right, so you wouldn't want to pay $630,000, so we'd have to answer no, bad investment. Let's look elsewhere to invest our money. So I hope this helps out as you're working with the continuous um, income stream problems um, and the present value with integration. So good luck.